Chapter 3 Introduction to MS Word 2016 Warm up Below are given three types of files of a computer. Look at them and answer the given below questions. Which of these files has text only? Which of these files has picture only? Which of these files has both text and picture? Microsoft Word is a popular type of word processing software. It can be used for writing letters, stories, poems, etc. It is also called MS Word in short. It is a part of Microsoft Office which contains many other commonly used applications of day-to-day -day use. It's pleasant surprise that Word 2016 contains new and improved features from document creation to reading, editing and collaboration. Starting MS Word 2016 Step 1 Choose Start Step 2 Select all apps where a list of applications is visible. Step 3. Select Word 2016. A startup screen as shown will be displayed on your desktop. From the start screen, locate and select blank document to access the Word interface. MS Word 2016 screen is presented before us. We will find a blinking cursor on the top left of the window waiting for us to type the text. The word window has many parts. Some of them are described below. Title bar. The title bar is present on the top of the screen. It displays the name of the document followed by the name of the program. It has a quick access toolbar on the left. The title bar also contains the minimize, maximize, restore down and close buttons to its right. Ribbon. The ribbon is located just below the title bar. The ribbon contains two parts, tabs and groups. File, home, insert and page layout are some tabs on the ribbon. Clicking on a tab displays groups of commands. File tab. The file tab is present on the left corner of the ribbon. It has commands such as open, save and print. Document area, text area. It is the large black white area where we can type, edit and format the text. Cursor. A cursor is a small blinking line in the document area. It shows the position of the text we type. Status bar. The status bar is present at the bottom of the screen. It displays the page number, number of words, zoom option, etc. Scroll bars. There are vertical and horizontal scroll bars on the right and bottom above the status bar side of the screen respectively we can move the screen display towards right or left using the horizontal scroll bar and shift it up and down with the help of the vertical scroll bar
Creating a new document. To create a new file, follow these steps. Step 1. Click on the File tab and select the new option. The Backstage view appears. Step 2. Click on Blank Document. A new Word document opens. Writing text in Word. Once a document has been created, you can use the keyboard and start typing text. Keep in mind, when you type in Microsoft Word, you do not need to press a key to move to a new line. To start a new paragraph, press the Enter key. Saving a document. After working on the document, we should save it properly so that it can be accessed whenever required. We must save our file with a name that can be easily remembered with file extension docs. The three main methods of saving the file are click the save button on the quick access toolbar or press Ctrl key plus S on the keyboard. A save as dialog box will appear that will save the file to an appropriate location or step 1 click on file, step 2 click on save, step 3 double click the option this PC save as dialog box will open up. Step 4 Save the file at an appropriate location. Step 5. Give a name to the document. Step 6. Click the Save button. Opening document. We may need to open a saved document anytime. The steps to open a document are as follows. Step 1. Click on the file tab. Step 2. Select the open option from the drop down menu. Step 3. Double click the option this PC. The open dialog box will appear. Step 4. Locate and select the file name to be opened. Step 5. Click on the open button. Closing a document. Step 1. Click on File. Step 2. Click on Close. Step 3. If the changes in a document are not saved, MS Word will prompt us to save the changes. Step 4. Click Save. To close without saving, click Don't Save. This will close the document and will not save the changes. Printing the document. After completing the work, it's time to take a printout. To print a document, follow these steps. Step 1. Click on File. Click on Print option. Step 2. Select the type of printer. Step 3. Choose the page numbers to be printed. Step 4. 
Select the number of copies to be printed. Step 5. Once all the choices are made, click Print button. Microsoft Word is a popular piece of word processing software. Word 2016 contains new and improved features from document creation to reading, editing and collaboration. The title bar is present at the top of the screen. The ribbon is located just below the title bar. Once a document is created, you can use the keyboard and start typing text. We must save our file with a name that can be easily remembered with file extension docs. 